Josette. And I'm Jeanette. And we're twins from Atlanta. We're 27. Just kidding. 57. Oh, my God. they were my favorites. You could tell that there were some that it was this was just a bucket list for them. And by golly, they did it, and we watched it, and we judged them. I'm 64 years old, and I have absolutely no qualifications except that I'm a huge fan of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. I'm all alone. And the girls are trying to make a connection with the judges for the first and possibly last time. There is a fine line between having a positive, memorable energy and looking desperate. Anyone can audition today. They just have to be 18 years old and a high school graduate. They can be any age, so there's no age limit. I'm 35 and kicking. <laughs> I'm 37 years old and I was born and raised in Colleen, Texas. Good afternoon, I'm Delana Barsanti. I am a few months shy of my 39th birthday. I am currently working as a perfectionist in the role of domestic goddess, wife and mother. <laughs> Kelly McFimilaranti. I'm 36 years old. I'm currently traveling around the country with my husband in our RV. I have a PhD from the University of Missouri. I'm a licensed clinical psychologist and a gymnastics coach. We are taking a little hiatus in our careers to pursue some of the things that we never got to do and pursue some of our dreams. And for me, trying out for the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders and hopefully making the squad was one of them. I'm 19 years old. My name is Julie Kevelin. I am 27 years old. Hello, I'm Ivana Hall. My friends call me Trump. <laughs> <laughs> the nose are easy. It's obvious that they can't dance. I was hoping this we could dance. But she has a cute smile. I'm awesome, I'm glamorous, I'm beautiful. <laughs> and that's just me. There's some that you're curious about their own self-assessment. Some were dance challenge, just not trainable. Our judges are pretty good at keeping poker faces. Actually, that kind of movement just grosses me out. There are some people that show up and, and Honestly, we're like, is she serious? But she is serious. Oh, there we go. Now that's there, right there. Touchdown, Cowboys. I'm excited. Watch yourself, why don't you turn around? Turn around, do it now. Walk right through that door. One, two, three. They believe in themselves and good for them. I don't want to dampen that spirit, but I'm also not going to put our uniform on them. Walk right through that door. I'm very surprised by what I see on the dance floor. Today, in fact, we had some, some contortion. She went up on her neck and her head, and then I had one doing a backward somersault on the floor, and I'm thinking, where does this fit in with pom-poms and football games? What are you doing down there?
maybe should, they should have somebody watch them before they show up to auditions to see what it looks like. I know I need to dance bigger. I need to have bigger arms and uh, smile the whole time. Do I look like a Cowboys dancer today or do I need to work a little harder? My main attitude was just, let's rock this out. Let's just do it. This is showtime. My name is Kathy. I have one daughter and one granddaughter, and I'm 62. There's never anything that ceases to amaze me. To have the confidence of what you see in the mirror you think belongs on the sideline, I think that's impressive. And you know, kudos to them for, for having the guts to show up. I'm real good at doing the 60s dances. The pony, the jerk, the Watusi, mashed potatoes. <laughs> you know, you don't know them, do you? <laughs> Night of the night now. Take it higher and don't come down. We go to this party. I've been told before that whenever I perform, I have a, a fire to it. Night of the night now. Take it higher and don't come I tried to have a couple go-to moves, so if I forgot the choreography that was that was planned in my head, then I could do these moves that look like they're still part of the choreography. I can't remember what I did. I was just walking and then I was like, what am I doing? Let's just walk again. <laughs> We always have some that are just lost. Lost in space. know if they watch themselves in the mirror to see what they're doing. It's very entertaining. We had one girl that was swimming. I saw some little swishing, some hand movement, pointing. Sometimes I wonder where they're pulling these out of. these moves and planned it. That's the scary thing. There was one in particular that she had her own little sequence going where she did the splits and then she rolled backwards over her head, popped back up, and then down she goes again in the splits. When they reveal the semifinalists, I know I will be on that board. always surprised by what I see on the dance floor at this round of competition. Crazy things just come out. Is that her crack? No. Oh, it's a tattoo. Yeah. Some of it was a little painful. The backward somersaults on the floor into the splits that then turned into a cartwheel. Day one is a bit of a circus. There are sets of girls where it's just like, not something we're looking for, but always entertaining. Some of the dancers, it is uncomfortable to watch because they don't look comfortable. I mean, your eye immediately goes to that person and not necessarily in the best way. One, two, three, turn around. Don't you watch me now, just turn around. Touch your knees, don't look, just turn around. Do it now, you make me count for. There's a part of me that is glad that when they look in the mirror, they see themselves as the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. And by golly, they're going to get out in front of us in one yard of lycra fabric and let us have it. One, two, three, turn around. What you doing now? Walk right through that door. Had some flips, had some splits, had some twerking. A lot of twerking. You've got the tush just bouncing, and you can't help but focus on it. Wow. Today we 
had a few that were literally just dancing to themselves. And they roll on the ground, and they roll on the ground. It's like another one's down, another one's down, and they just kept rolling. It almost became comical. And oh my God, look at that. I just want to say that I'm not a dancer, and I never cheerleaded. I'm not going to lie. You're not going to see any sweet moves from me up here. <laughs> definite yes or a no for me on this day one. You either see what you like or you don't. My face is going to express what I'm feeling on the inside. <laughs> this one's gotten a little spastic for me. What is happening right now? There's a great Southern saying that I have learned called bless her heart. Oh, when you see a bad dancer. I kind of don't want to look because I don't want them to see me looking, but I mean, you can't help it. DJ, keep it coming. I got some dancing to do. I want my shot, shot, shot. Make it strong, strong, strong. Yeah, I want to get loose. I want to get loose. Boy, come over. This is the first time I've ever seen leggings in an audition. I think I stood out to the judges. Does she have rhinestones glued on her face? I'm just sparkly. <laughs> Super sparkle. My name is Carrie Lynn, and I have the privilege to perform today next to my mom. Proud of the baby. My passion with the Cowboys began about 40 years ago when I fell in love with number 12, Roger Staubach. My daughter's a good dancer. Yeah. Whoa, that's better than I could do. You have to really give it to the mother-daughter team today. She had the guts to show up. She might have not had the best dance out on the floor today, but she had the best seat in the house to watch her daughter audition for her dreams, and you can't fault that at all. The Dallas Cowboys Strokes, it's a professional dance team. It is the best of the best. But I don't think everybody read the job description before walking in the door. I love the smell of car tires. My name is Tara. Again, for memory's sake, my name is Tara. I love pickles. Always a colorful mix of wardrobe at round one. I think we had a knee length pair of biker shorts and a couple of arm length blouses, one scuba suit. And some girls, maybe that I don't think are gonna make the cut. <laughs> and I kind of get mixed up. I forget all the choreography that we kind of had rehearsed the night before. <laughs> Victoria in the face. Oh, that was close. The bad ones are my favorite. It was the best and worst experience. I do have a story though. <laughs> Hi, judges. I'm from the tomato capital of the world in Jacksonville, Texas. Tomato capital. <laughs> the introductions. Many times they surprise us. You never know what they may say. This is really lame, but I have not had my first boyfriend yet. Aww. Oh! I justify my obsession with pom-poms with the fact that God made puppies, so... Yes. I was also voted best dancer in my family three weeks in a row. There we go. Front marks, please. I mean, it happens every year, and you know they're coming. 
you have the girls that still insist on doing a forward roll on the ground or some improv dance. I wasn't, I wasn't expecting certain moves or people kicking and slip. It was just a lot happening. Um, so, yeah. One of my biggest pet peeves today was the sexy face. They're looking like, I'm going, who are you dancing for? You know, have you read the job description? You know, we're entertainers, but not that kind of entertainers. There was one person that was having a total relationship with the floor. <laughs> Whoa. People auditioned in so many different places, from bedrooms, to backyards, to garages, to their front yard. It was really entertaining. Look at this hanger. I got garage envy on a few. I don't think I've ever seen my garage that clean. No. Look, someone's over there in the background walking their dog while she's dancing her heart out. She is in the road. That was the most memorable location. Oh, she tried to dance between two houses. Oh. I'm just looking for any sense of rhythm. I don't think there is any. Let's go, let's get it started. Caution warning for the fake hearted. I'll be in the club like this, my jam. Big time ballers, we're going ham. Tonight's the no. night, we're gonna live like stars. Supermodels and sports cars. She danced right out of the frame. Keep the party going as I count the hour. Got me in the zone like a dog. The dog is not inspired. No. Hi, I'm Josette. And I'm Jeff. And we're twins from Atlanta. We're 27. Just kidding. 57. Oh my god. They were my favorites. You could tell that there were some that it was. this was just a bucket list for them. And by golly, they did it, and we watched it, and we judged them. I'm 64 years old, and I have absolutely no qualifications, except that I'm a huge fan of the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders. Age is limitless. That's right. <laughs> 